Thanks again. So in, uh, at the beginning of this uh, talk that was titled how, how I Do It, I want to point out how I do not do it. Uh, that is, uh, uh, what is critical is that not all patients are candidate for this operation. And there may be patients and their families and uh, sometimes other colleagues that are forcing um, a surgeon to take down the colostomy. And this is oftentimes a difficult conversation, but it's at the base of postoperative outcomes. Um, and uh, I think that is not a black and white situation. It's a decision that needs to be taken carefully. But um, the issue is how much risk we can take for quality of life operation. Uh, we're not removing a cancer. We're not removing a segment. This is not the type of operation that Dr. Mishra just presented. Uh, it's not a life-saving situation. It's a quality of life situation. So our threshold should be different. And uh, the general definitions of frail patients or comorbidities obviously have a continuum. So there are some patients that are obviously not a candidate. There are some patients that could be in a, a gray area. In my opinion, if a patient cannot walk comfortably to get to a toilet seat, there's no point in discussing a takedown of colostomy. That is just my personal bias. If somebody doesn't live very far, and I respect that and I try to help all patients, but if somebody doesn't live very far from a wheelchair or a bed, that is not a good patient to have a takedown. And it's uh, obviously most patients see themselves as they have uh, seen themselves in their body for a long time and may be unrealistic in assessing um, how frail they have become. And, and that is where the surgeon has to express uh, herself or himself uh, in the most clear way. Uh, the other issue that is perhaps related to a previous talk on obese patients is that a colostomy takedown is worth a diet. And everything else that is uh, necessary, because obviously it's reductive to say that just starting a diet will resolve uh, a, a, an obesity class three. So, but but I, I don't want to embark upon a colostomy takedown on somebody that has a BMI of 48. And uh, I've been in the office with the patient having a BMI of 48. And uh, this is, again, just me. It's not wrong to take them down. But as somebody who has taken care of complications, including my own, on patients that are obese or have conditions that could be uh, improved and their 